just tastes like chicken parm. I mean, it doesn't have the cheese, it doesn't have the parm. But the chicken with the marinara and the breading just tastes like chicken parm. It's delicious. Mm. And the ravioli is really good too. Ravioli are very good. Delicious. My turn for ravioli. Way to go, Italy. Oh, that does taste like chicken parm. Tastes just like chicken parm. Ravioli is just a phenomenal cheese ravioli. That's Italy. What's up? A ravioli or? Grab it. I would say these are probably the most filling. I was just thinking the same thing. I was looking back at everything we had and I'm like, wow. They gave you two dumplings in China. Here it was like four or five pieces of chicken. No, it was three. Okay, but they're big. Yeah. So then four, I feel like. A good amount, five. yeah. Yeah, four or five, I don't know. A good amount. This combo was filling. Which is good though, because these are more expensive options for food and wine. Yeah, it makes sense. Really good. Awesome view. Yeah. Sure, guys, a view. Going to Japan. Well, Japan food thing. Right there. So what did you get? Got the spicy roll and the draft beer from Japan. Yep, from right there. Over there. There we go. That's a very light beer. Is it? I don't even know what that would be. Coarse? It's, yeah, like, oh. <laughs> I don't know. So light beer, or the beer from Japan, the draft beer from Japan is very light. Overall thoughts, would you get it again? I think so. Okay. It's definitely got a spice to it. Oh, does it? Yeah. Cool. Pretty good heat. Well, currently in line at the Brazil Pavilion at Food and Wine Festival. And I'm going to be getting a beer. They had an MIA local Florida black beer. Not really sure what that means. But I'm going to get that here. And then we're going to watch Illuminations right over here. Should be pretty nice. Black beer. And the cheese bread. Oh, it's just a good stout. It's gotta be a stout. I just saw Barbosa. Yeah, I don't know. It's really good. Sweet. It seemed to be what everybody was getting, so I just couldn't pass it up. <laughs> and I see why. It I was is actually really good. going to call you and be like, get the cheese bread, but Yeah, it's really good. I kind of like the cheese from the rock, but from like a bread. Eating a bread, yeah. I like it. Better hot. Yeah, that's going down, it sucks. Yeah. But I'm almost done with it. Belgium right behind us, so I was able to get two right beers, over there. a wit and a pale ale. So and excited about are they that. good? Yeah, they're both actually really good. I like Belgian beers. 
They're like what? I like Belgian beers. Oh. Is a Belgian beer like a blue moon? Yeah. Well, these are definitely like more bitter. The wit. Uh, okay. Yeah, but they're good. Cool. And then this is our spot. I think Dan showed you, but this is our spot for illuminations. Got the big old flame going up I know, over the here. Day. Illuminations was awesome. I'm so happy awesome. we got to see it. Yeah. I'm kind of bummed that we didn't get to do the Frozen Ever After dessert party, but our spot actually worked out pretty good because we just walked over to France and then left out of the International Gateway. Yep. So that was really nice. Um, I really liked our spot. I thought it was a good viewing spot. It was a really nice spot. So we got there 45 minutes earlier or so. Yeah. I was able to leave the spot, go to the bathrooms right behind us, Some go beers. get beers at the Belgium stand, and it was great. Yeah. I couldn't complain. Overall, it was a great day in Epcot, and food and wine was awesome. Dan's first time, he really liked it. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's a food and wine I'll lover. Go back. Yep. <laughs> We're gonna be back Monday, so we'll definitely Monday. do some more snacking around the world, drinking around the world. Heck but yeah. yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.